The Real Ghostbusters toy line was created by Kenner in 1986 through to 1991. It was mostly related to the animated series, however the Ecto 1A and Ecto Charger were both related to the Ghostbusters 2 film. The Kenner line of the Real Ghostbusters first hit the stores, fulfilling Christmas pre-orders in 1986. Notably, the 1986 first print sold out in pre-orders. Later, the toys began to be put on the shelves in January of 1987. The line continued being made and sold until the spring of 1991. It had 10 waves of toys based on card rearrangements, with at least one more to be planned. Notably, the line ended during the Kenner and Hasbro merger in 1991. It is believed that the first wave of toys were released during the Christmas season of 1986, mostly to fulfill layaway orders. Officially, the first advertisements appeared, done by Toys R Us in the newspapers around the end of January 1987. The toy line first wave, first printing, is believed to have been all the figures, but not the Ghost Zapper or the plush toys. Second printing, which was released with additions from Wave 2, was done at some time in the spring of 1987. The third printing was most likely done in the Christmas season of 1987, and later in the spring of 2020, Hasbro reissued all six of the first wave figures. The Action Ghost, Green Ghost, incorrectly was printed in the first and second printing with item number 81020. The toy was given the correct item number on the third pressing. Peter Venkman, Race Dance, Egon Spengler, Winston Zedemar, The Action Ghost was a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, Green Ghost aka Slimer, The Ghost Zapper, The Plush Ghost Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man and a Plush Ghost Green Ghost aka Slimer. The second wave was released sometime in the spring of 1987. The Action Ghost Assortment, started in Wave 1, has additions with three Ghost action figures. A second pressing for the three Action Ghosts was made for the Christmas season of 1987. Bug Eyed Ghost, H2 Ghost, Bad to the Bone Ghost, the Ecto 1, Ectoplasm Purple, Gooper Ghost, Squisher, Gooper Ghost Banshee Bomber, Gooper Ghost Sludge Bucket, and the Ghost Popper. The third wave was likely first released to fulfill layaway orders in the Christmas season of 1987. The first public promotions for the wave didn't happen until mid January 1988. Initially, Fright feature Janine Melnitz was not released as she wasn't listed on the back of the card. She was later released in the fourth wave. The three Mini Ghost toy sets were released with the assortment number 80400, mistakenly printed on the front of the card as the item number. All three also share the same barcode on the back. The Canada line printed corrected item numbers. The Fright Features heroes are the most common of the hero set released. They were released in all major foreign markets, including the exclusive hero line for Brazil's Casa Fantasmas, released by Estrella. Fright feature Venkman, Fright feature Spengler, Fright feature Stance, and Fright feature Winston Zedemar. The Firehouse, Mini Ghost Mini Goopers, Mini Ghost Mini Traps, Mini Ghost Mini Shooter, Ectoplasm Red, Ectoplasm Purple, Ectoplasm Blue, and the Proton Pack. Wave 4 was like Wave 2, released in the late spring of 1988. Janine saw a release in the first time as an add-on toy in the Fright Line from Wave 3. Along with Haunted Humans, there were two ghosts released that ended up with two printings with errors. Haunted Humans saw a sequel of sorts in Kenner's Beetlejuice line, with a neighbourhood nasties group of four figures in late 1990. Haunted Human Terra Trash, Haunted Human Granny Gross, Haunted Human Male Fraud, Haunted Human Had Hat Horror, 
Haunted Human Tombstone Tackle, Haunted Human X Cop, and the Fright Feature Janine Melnitz. Brain Blaster Ghost, Pull Speed Ahead Ghost, The Ecto 2, Highway Haunter, and Gooper Ghost Green Ghost, aka Slimer. Wave 5 saw its release in January 1989. This line included stickers for Find the Ghosts contest promotion. Monster the Frankenstein Monster, Monster the Mummy Monster, the Dracula Monster, the Zombie Monster, the Quasimodo Monster, the Wolfman Monster, Screaming Hero Peter Venkman, Screaming Hero Egon Spengler, Screaming Hero Ray Stance, Screaming Hero Winston Zedema, and Screaming Hero Janine Melnitz. Haunted Vehicle Wicked Wheelies, Haunted Vehicle Air Sickness, and Ghost Spooker. The sixth wave is sometimes merged with a five or seven. However, going by packaging counts, it clearly released batches of toys during the spring summer of 1989. This wave is assumed to have been released late spring, around May, much like Wave 4 and 2. It's unclear why they didn't release this part of the Wave 7 a few months later, but one of the toys released in the Wave didn't appear on the back of the cards until the next Wave card. Finger Pop Friends, Green Ghost with Proton Pack, Slimer, Fearsome Flush, Ecto Poppers and Ecto Goggles, Neutrona Blaster, and Water Zapper. Wave 7 was most likely released sometime in August or September and included a new group of hero toys. Super Fright Features Janine Melnitz, Super Fright Features Winston Zedemar, Super Fright Features Ray Stance, Super Fright Features Egon Spengler, Super Fright features Peter Venkman, Ecto-3, and the Ghost Trap. Eighth wave included Power Pack Heroes Race Dance, Power Pack Heroes Janine Menelitz, Power Pack Heroes Winston and Zedemar, Power Pack Heroes Egon Spengler, Power Pack Heroes Louis Tully, wasn't shown on other cards, only on its own card, Power Pack Heroes Peter Venkman, Goblin Goblin's Terror Tongue, Goblin Goblin's Nasty Neck, and Goblin Goblin's Terror Teeth. Ghost Sweeper, Ecto 500. Wave 9 had Slimed Heroes Egon Spengler, Slimed Heroes Peter Venkman, Slimed Heroes Ray Stance, Slimed Heroes Winston Zedemar, Slimed Heroes Louis Tully, the Ecto 1A, Ecto Charger Pack, Rapid Fire Ecto Blaster, and Ghost Grab a Meter. Wave 10 had Ecto Glow Hero Egon Spengler, Ecto Glow Hero Ray Stance, Ecto Glow Hero Louis Tully, Ecto Glow Hero Winston Zedemar, Ecto Glow Hero Peter Venkman, the Ecto Bomber, the Ecto Headphones with the Radar Blaster and the Ghost Nabber. Some unreleased toys include the Neutrono Blaster in development in Wave 1 and Wave 2, the Action Vehicle Glow Copter Vehicle, Action Vehicle Fire Freighter Vehicle, Playset Egon's Lab, Backpack Hero Figure Egon Spengler, Backpack Hero Figure Race Dance, Backpack Hero Figure Peter Venkman, Backpack Hero Figure Winston Zedemar, Toy Weapon Ghost Blaster, Toy Weapon Slimerizer, Inflatable Goober Ghost Green Ghost Concept Illustration, and 15 inch Backpack Heroes Egon Spengler prototype. Besides America, there were seven other lines produced and released. America and the UK releases seem to be their own lineages from which other lines based their toy packaging and elements on. Also, some of these lines also imported in toys made for other markets. 
The real Ghostbusters from America was the default line made by Kenner. They were also made by Kenner in Canada. It was bilingual, had both English and French languages on it, and it follows the American lineage exclusively. Real Ghostbusters was made by Kenner in the UK. It took a different design from the American counterpart, which usually added a glow to illustrations and darker background blue colour. Hot colour dropped shadows were also featured behind the toys on the cardboard. The Real Ghostbusters SOS Phantoms was made by Kenner for the countries of France, Belgium and Netherlands. Some of the first wave was also translated into French. The line uses the UK lineage. The Real Ghostbusters made by Kenner for the country of Germany. Year 3 1989 likely was not made for Germany. The line uses the UK lineage. Glee, Accia, Apata, Fantasima made by Kenner for the country of Italy. Of the lines that uses the UK lineage is, is the rarest. Casa Fantasmas, made by Estrella for the country of Brazil. This line has used the American lineage, but altered it to fit this with the short line. The line was made in 1991, after the American line had ended. The real Ghostbusters made by Jossa, in the country of Argentina. The line uses both lineages and even borrows from the Brazil line from the previous year. The line features some exclusive toys, which were altered versions of the previous release Kenner toys. The line is noted for a cheap knockoff type quality to the toys. However, the toys were made under license in 1992. Joxa also sold imports of the toys from America, Canada, France, Belgium, and Netherlands, and the UK. Oricon, the real Ghostbusters toy line, was made by Kenner America, but relabeled Oricon for release in Mexico. While Oricon may have made some of the role playing weapons and vehicles sold in other lines. Its packaging was done in America. Portugal received imports of the UK line by importer LDA. Seemed to vary between year two to year four. Australia received imports from America, Canada and the UK. And Spain received imports from France, Belgium, Netherlands by importer Lustar and Saxnovsky SA. The toys appeared in 1992. It seemed that only year two toys were imported. So that was a brief overview of the real Ghostbusters toy line. The last toy line I actually collected when I was 16. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And I hope you'll subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching and may the toys be with you. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal? <laughs>